first thing and the most powerful is the uh, sight of the Israelis which were massacred and butchered and raped and beheaded by the cannibals of the uh, Hamas. This is something which is so painful that there is no way that we can just ignore the terrible ramifications of what happened. Let us take stock. Where is the Middle East yeah. today? The Middle East is in the middle of a military, uh, violent, brutal confrontation, the lack of which we haven't uh, experienced for many, many years. And uh, the question is, where is it going to? Is it going to relax somehow? Or is it going to expand and become a major all-out war that will involve the major powers? Where is the resolution? How does it come about, if it does come about? Uh, together with a colleague of mine from the Palestinian side, the former foreign, foreign minister of the Palestinian Authority and the ambassador to the United Nations, uh, Dr. Nasser Al-Kidwa, we have uh, drafted uh, a written plan, and we signed it, which offers uh, the uh, procedure to end the war in Gaza and then to embark on negotiations for a two-state solution. Let's assume that we have successfully uh, destroyed the military capacity of Hamas and that Gaza can be uh, uh, controlled by uh, a more moderate forces of the Palestinian Authority uh, in uh, cooperation with our countries, moderate our countries. What is next for us and what is next for them? Uh, there are still six million Palestinians in Gaza and in the West Bank. Uh, what do we want to do in order to change the balance that has characterized the relations between us and them for so many years? I think that we have to embark on negotiations that will lead to a two-state solution.